Dread's equipment is one and the same. It isn't equipment, it, it, it is Dread. When you put this costume on, you become the character. There's about four different leathers in Carl's uniform. And then the plastic armor on top, which is sort of based on sort of riot cops. And I thought it would be interesting to see what it was like if Dredd put the same thing on every day, this dirty old biker's outfit, and then just went out there and enforced the law. The costume itself is really a manifestation of the society. This is a society in decay, and consequently, you know, our uniforms are in decay. To put it on to wear the suit, it actually changes your posture, it changes the way you move and the way you feel when you move. The helmet is the icon of dread, you know, the, the shape of dread. Round about the fifth or sixth episode, he was drawn without his uh, helmet, and the result was so unimpressive that the editor, Pat Mills, put a big censored sign across his face. We are reproducing, I think it's something of 30, 35 helmets required for all the other judges and the medics and the security officers. It's not just there for show. It has to serve as a motorbike crash helmet, also a bulletproof protection. Now this, I always wanted one of these. This is, whew. We started with the lawgiver as early as possible because I knew it's going to be a, a, a challenge. Incendiary. The lawgiver is a fully functioning weapon based on a 9mm system. Design gave us very little space to work with. We had to work very tightly around the original weapon. We had to be quite innovative in figuring out how to get the electronics in there, how to get the mag changes, how to practically eject the blank shells. And now we have something that the artist can pull out of his holster and start firing without swapping from one weapon to the other. Uh, you know, and as for the Lawmaster, which is Judge Dredd's motorbike, they actually, they built it, they based it on a 500cc motorbike and it's a beast of machine. 70s idea of the future, which obviously it's radically changed. So what we tried to do was keep in a lot of the elements while making it look more futuristic, more what we would expect in today's world. There's no blue screen, green screen trickery going on, you know, and once you see Dread on that bike, you're there 100% for the ride.